She went to all protein. Sausage, ham, pepperoni. What else? Want the shrimp? All right, what do you want else? On, what else do you want that? On that? Pineapple, okay. <laughs> Getting her what? People get, this is where people get hungry when you start talking about pizza. Okay, here's one. This is a deluxe. What if Yowzy went in and said to the person behind the counter, give me a ham, a pepperoni, um, pineapple, and a sausage pizza. Here's what I'm saying to you. I have two arrangements of four items. Is this a combination here? Are these combinations or are these permutations? Why are they combinations? The, what, do you, what do you mean the order doesn't matter? Exactly. So you went in and if you told them, hey, give me the pineapple, ham, pepperoni, um, what? Sausage pizza? Isn't it the exact same pizza? So this is a combination because we do not care about the order. We don't care about the order. You guys with me on that? So this is counted as the same list. This is the same list. This is an example of when they are different. So in one setting you care about the order. The other setting you do not care. That is the difference between having Permutations and combinations. Combinations, we don't care about the order. Permutations, you do. You guys okay with that? You see what I'm saying? And if you don't, you can go look at the lecture. You can even see my multimedia counting stuff. I have you know, more examples there. Okay, you guys okay with this? Let's give you some more examples. Uh, some other examples, like for instance, what? Oh, what should we give you? There's a standard uh, three prize example. How many students do we have? How many students? Let's say we have about what? 40 students. In a class. And I'm going to give you guys three prizes. What are the prizes going to be? Huh? A car? You can see if Cloudy is purse way. No? Uh, how about you say $100, and then what? 75 and then what? 50 Meaning that first prize is 100, second prize is what? 75, and third is what? 50 bucks. Okay? And let's say I selected, this is like the Oprah Winfrey show, you guys looked under your chair and you found a special uh, star or something. Gold star meaning you got first prize, silver, you got second, and a bronze star, you got third, right? So you guys look under your chair, you find, you find these stars. Who got the first star? Who got the gold star? Moshi. All right. Moshi got first prize. Good. Uh, and then, who? Who got the second? Yowzi got the second. Good. And the third? Andrea gets the third. OK. This is an arrangement of who we call what? These are all the, the winners. Is that true? You guys with me on this? Now what if I happened to write this list down? I said, oh, you know what? Andrea was first. Um, Moshi was second. Nyazi was third. What if I was a little careless and I wrote down this list? This list of winners. Who can tell me? Is there a problem with this? What, what's that? Is there a problem? Yeah. But does that matter? Why? Do we care about the order? So it matters because we what? 
care about the order. Is that right? If that's the case, that we care about the order, is this a combination or a permutation? Good. It's a big P for permutation because you care about the order. If I just start switching the names around of these winners, I got a different list. Meaning that in this list, Andrea got first, Moshi second, Yazi got third. So we switch that. It's a whole different list. Th these are permutations. Compare that to the scenario where. Compare that to what if the prize scenario wasn't first, second, third, 50? What if the prizes look this way? 50. 50. 50. Now, if the prizes were this scenario, we now have what? These are now what? Why are these now combinations? Because if I switch the order, it doesn't what? Matter. In other words, here, order is not important. See what I'm saying? So this is an example of combinations. Ooh. Pinch nerve. Okay, you guys okay with this? These are examples of permutations and combinations. Now, I'm going to give you uh, a few other definitions. Um, here we go. I don't want to use the board over there. I'll erase it here. Definition of N C N P R and definition of N C R. N P R is defined to be the number of permutations of are items taken from a pool of n items? Okay. NCR is the number of combinations of R items taken from a pool of n items. 